Okay, so we're doing turn in place animations. We did the first video where we did the primary function that handles all of the uh, turn in place calculations. Now we just got to hook this function up and also our anim graph so we can actually use this and tie it all to a blend space. And that way we'll have not only our turn in place, but our pitch and everything. So first off, since we did this last time, I recommend you watch the other two videos because this is the the chunk, uh, big half of it right here. We're going to go ahead and go into the event graph and actually add this function to the graph that we made. Turn in place. Okay, and it's going to take a reference to our pawn. Simple as that. And now let's go into the anim graph. Come over here. Uh, we're going to need a rotate root bone node. Okay, and there's a lot of customization we can do to this thing. So let's select it and see what we can do. We definitely want the yaw to go in there. Um, so let's just go ahead and grab that right now. Okay. But there's some stuff we don't need. So I select on that to control what we have. So we don't want to expose that. And we don't want the, uh, oh, where's the other pin? There it is. We don't want the other pin in there either. So that way we're just working off our yaw. The other thing we need to do, I'm going to look at my notes real quick, is take the yaw scale bias clamp, interpret your results. And we want to do a little customization here. Let's set this all the way up to 20. Okay, and let me look over and see if I did anything else to this. Okay, if we need to, we can always come back to it. Add it in there. And you can manipulate those values to get the result that uh, you desire. But we're going to spend some more of our time. We're going to go into here. We're going to go into our idle place. So what we want to do is make a new state machine right here and inside our idle. Or just maybe type state machine. Yeah, add a new state machine. Call it uh, idle with turn. And then can we duplicate? I don't know if we can. Yep, duplicate. Select it. F2 it. Idle without turn. You don't have to capitalize it like that, but I do. And then let's add a layered blend per bone. Okay, and so basically, depending on where you're at on the skeleton of the actual uh, uh, character, it's going to be different. So if you're not using the epic skeleton, this could throw you off a little bit. Uh, I recommend just starting out with the epic skeleton until you get a hang of things. If you already got a hang of things, then this is all review for you anyway. Um, we're going to go ahead and just add on to this array here until we finally can get to what we want. Get our bone name. This is going to be where basically where this is divided. It's got to be exact. So spine 01, and that's the root of spine, the bone of the spine, I should say. Set that to 1. There it'll be 1, and I think that'll be it for that. Okay. So idle with our turn will be there and out so lower half of the body everything from the below spine one and then everything in here will be above set that into here put that into there and then your gold control c that we're going to go to the idle without our turn that one's going to be real easy control v is in vector it did not go through that's fine it's probably better that it didn't so i can show you what i'm doing idle just grab a rifle idle and it's just a basic idle animation and that's all that's going to happen there it's fine disregard the warnings for now we're going to clear them up um so okay and then this is the one we need to do so idle with turn i'm just going to keep my notes up to date so i am looking at the same thing Okay, so here is going to have a couple different things. So we have our idle like we had last time, and it's going to go into here. Oh, but based off certain conditions, we're going to have certain things happen. So we're going to get our 
turn 90 loop left and our should be on turn R 90 loop here for right okay and we're gonna have certain conditions when it can go there when it can come back same with the other way okay so we messed with basic animations before I've already explained how these are conditions to go into right this is conditions to come out pretty simple stuff but where it doesn't where it's not so simple are the conditions these can get rather complicated so let's work through it so to go into our turn 90 right we need to first off get our speed make sure that it is equal if I can find the equal sign that would be nice equal to zero and these conditions are gonna all be and conditions so let's drag off of here and say and so that means that everything has to be true that in this statement that I'm making right now hook it on up so we don't have to worry about it later on we're gonna get our root yaw offset and see if it's less than our maximum tip angle times negative one Okay, so the root yaw offset is less than our maximum turn in place angle times negative one and it's not in there. Bring that out, we can see everything. Okay, so that's our condition for going into it, our condition for coming out of it. our time remaining and this always this part can always get a little confusing which uh which one we're supposed to use here i believe it's a ratio time remaining ratio of our turn right so basically the animation is close to finishing that's what we're going to detect and how close 0 0.1 close and this is going to be an or, which means if either any of these happen, it will automatically take us out. It doesn't, it's, which is different than the other one. Okay. We're also going to try to come out of it. If our speed is greater than zero. and or our root yaw offset let's find that Add another pin then one more or we're in the air. If any of these conditions occur, get out of your turn in place animation immediately. Okay, so let me check, make sure I have that. If the time remaining on turn right is less than 0 0.1, if the speed is greater than zero, or my root yaw offset is greater than zero, or I'm in air, we will leave. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to check if our, what it takes to go into the turn 90 loop. And the turn 90 loop has to have some of the same conditions. Speed is equal to zero. Root yaw offset is greater than Our maximum tip turn in place angle these are all going to be ands
and we're not in there. Let's compare this to what we had in the other one to make sure we're correct. Here's the big difference. You see here the root yaw offset less than. To get into the other one, the root yaw offset has to be greater than. Okay, let's check our return values. What it, does it take to come out of there? So, time remaining. And if you're having an issue, usually this is where it's at. Uh, time remaining, let's do this one. Time remaining, rifle turn left is less than 0 0.1. That means the animation's almost over. And these, remember, are going to be ORs. We also want to check our speed. If our speed is greater than zero, that means we started moving. We want to come out. If we go suddenly into the air, let's say that, that can count if we start falling for whatever reason. Okay, that looks like garbage. Let's fix that. Let's tie that up. Let's bring this over. Okay, and uh, or if our root yaw offset is less than zero. Let's put that in there. That in there. Compile. straighten these out so anybody who comes looking at it will know what's going on okay let's check over our work okay went ahead and stopped the camera checked everything so far so good at least that's what i believe um let's go ahead and do uh one more thing here before we go uh let's check our animation here and we want to actually click on the animation and we want to check that's the preview scene make sure you're on details we want to make sure that we don't loop our animation same with the L make sure you're under details loop animation turn that off okay and while this doesn't cover uh, the function we did in the first video, I want to at least take a look and see uh, where our animations are at. This is just the uh, base conditions. So we turn to the right. Okay, he kicks off with that animation. Turn to the left. He kicked off that animation. He only did it once. That's actually where we're supposed to be for right now. There's a lot more to do. So in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and add our animation curves and hopefully do some a little bit of debugging, and then we'll get this thing up and ready to go.